Well, Ollie Crankshaw, welcome to County. It's been a very event eventful week for you already since signing here. We'll get to your debut in a little bit, but first of all, how are you settling in so far? Yeah, yeah, I've settled in great, to be fair. All the lads have been classing me over the last couple of weeks. Um, so, no, it's been a really good start. and uh, enjoying training, enjoying being around the place. It's been really good. The club's obviously been interested in you for, for quite some time now, I think dating back to your time at Wigan. So what was it now that made you decide that now was the right time? Uh, I think in previous points when they've been interested, it probably wasn't the right time for me to come to Stockport County. Uh, but right now, I think it's um, the project, what they've been uh, going on and the journey I think they're going to go on. I think it's everything what I want to be involved in. And I think the main factor is that um, I'm coming here to play as many games as possible and get, uh, get experience and um, games under my belt and just hopefully improve as a player under the manager and I feel like he's someone I can improve him under. You've signed a contract until 2024 as well and I suppose at, at 23 that's it's quite a crucial period of your career coming up so what are you hoping to, to achieve whilst here, what are your targets? Yeah I think obviously it, for me it's a very crucial point, uh, part of my career. Um, I'm wanting to play as many games really, um, obviously I've not played at this level before um, so that'll be a new change but I think obviously I'll adapt quite well to it. Um, but no, I think it, it's, ju it's just about getting as much first team football under my belt, play as many games, enjoy my, get back, enjoy my football again because that's been something what I haven't done over the last couple of months um, and really just crack on really and uh, kick on. What's what's the mood been like around the squad since you came in? Obviously, the club's had quite a, a slow start to the season, but that's two wins in a row now. Is it is it a confident camp at the minute? Yeah, as soon as I came in, everyone was confident, bubbly. So no, it's been really positive. Um, training's been good. Everyone's looking sharp. So no, yeah, it's been, it's been really positive. Let's talk about that, that debut at Weymouth. You came on with the uh, county one 0 down. You played a big role in the equaliser, scored the winner. Could you have asked for much more? No, obviously, I think it's a dream debut for myself. Um, I think really everything what I've done could have uh, gone right. So no, obviously sometimes that happens in football. You get the rub of the green some some weeks and some weeks you don't. But for me, it's just about uh, keeping my head down, working hard. And at the end of the day, I've I've not done anything yet um, for Stockport County. So hopefully, when I score ten or twenty goals, then I can start smiling and laughing. So what was the uh, what was the message from the manager just before he brought you on? I just said go and express yourself, go and get out players. Um, and, and just go and, go and get us a result. Um, but for me, it's, it's, it's always about the team. I think, obviously, large parts of that game we controlled it. It was just about putting the ball in the back of the net. And um, luckily, when I came on, um, I was involved in the equaliser and then obviously the goal right at the end. So, no, it was, it was, it was good for me. You played on the, on the right of a front three that day with Paddy and Ben Whitfield. Is that, is that your preferred position? Um, to be fair, I've never really... Well, I've played that position a couple of times when I was younger, but... Um, I do play on it as a, a right sider, uh, as either a four three three or a four four two or a four five one. I do play on the on the right wing, but it's something what I really enjoyed because I think I could get um, attack a lot more, could get in pockets, um, and obviously I think with the relationship I've already created with Macaulay and Paddy, I could play off them both. So no, it, it fit me quite well to be fair. I was going to say first impressions. You seem to have developed a, a quick understanding with Maka, particularly down that right hand side. Uh, that combination was quite key in, in both goals. Promising early signs, isn't it? Yeah, I think obviously because of his pace and and obviously the fullback pushing on, I think it could help me drift inside and get on the ball and then pockets and turn and then um, play Maka in. Obviously, I think he's got a great understanding. Obviously, how to play right back, wing back, and obviously even get forward more. So no, it's uh, really promising to start off with. Yeah. You have had an experience before of, of county fans uh, during your time at Curzon Ashton. How much are you looking forward to your first experience playing at Edgeley Park this weekend? Yeah, obviously, I think it, it must have been a couple of years ago, four or five years ago, uh, when I was at Curzon, I think they played at uh, Curzon's ground. Um, I think there was a lot of fans on then. I just thought to myself, this is class. This is like a massive football league club at the time. It was Conference North. Um, so now I'm really looking forward to being uh, at home and hopefully... Uh, making my debut at Edgeley Park. I think that'll be class in front of the fans. Just finally, Ollie, do you have a, a message you'd like to send to the county fans ahead of your home debut? Uh, just that, obviously, I'm going to give my absolute everything towards the club for the next three years, and hopefully it'll be a, a positive and um, exciting journey that what we're going to go on together. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Ollie, thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.